Sure. So obviously, unless you're at UND, it's hard to walk away right now to feel super great, right? So obviously, emotions are high, but um, I couldn't be more proud of this team and this program. Uh, we had a lot of adversity this season, losing six um, of our top players to ACLs, um, and everybody continued to step up. So. I'm so proud of them and the steps that they've made for this program. My fifth years have, this is their third NCAA, you know, Final Four appearance. It's amazing. Um, not that many people can say that. And I think that that is a huge thing for our program, hopefully recruiting. <laughs> and I know that we just will continue to bring in young women who want to accomplish the things that we have. So now hopefully we're hungry. The returners are hungry. They'll go home. They'll work hard. I'm going to coach these um, few of these at the senior all-star game, so I get another crack at them. Um, but they're some of the best that have come through this program, and they've really shaped it. And um, I'm sad uh, that I'm losing uh, my babies. Um, but there will be more. There's always more. So um, sad, sad for them, but super proud. Um, I mean, this definitely was an unexpected season. If you would have asked me in the fall uh, if I thought we were going to be here, I would have said no. But this was definitely one of the best teams, like, in my five years being here that I've ever played on, uh, full of people who, I mean, love each other and are willing to play till the end and maybe some overtime um, <laughs> if necessary. So I'm just grateful that I got to find my family and experience these last five years with these people so um basically the same here <laughs> um i'm super proud of this team you know we worked so hard to get here um like coach said the acl tears we had a really one of our fifth years shannon dent couldn't be out there with us and she was really a key team player so we were missing her um but yeah i'm super proud of this team and i'm happy that i got here I had definitely a different experience. I came from a, another school as a transfer, and I'm just lucky to be a part of this program, and this has just been a dream. I always just wanted to just touch the field of a national championship, so this has been such a wild ride, and you know, this team and this culture is you know, exactly what we, it seems. We're a family, and we're gonna keep continuing to grow and build as a program, and I'm so excited to watch, even though it's from you know, a sideline. And, <laughs> but I know this program's gonna do great things. They have great coaches and, you know, the family's just gonna build and grow and can't wait to see that. I will add, um, our fifth years, the last few years, I mean, the last two seasons have just been unreal. Um, KP is a full-time nurse and she would work night shift, come to practice on minimal sleep, play games on minimal sleep. Um, it, it, unreal. I mean, they're literally, uh, our kids are out there working. She's a, she's a young professional, a nurse, and I just couldn't be proud of that. I mean, she works hard. She takes no BS from anybody. She's like, I just work night shift. I just took all my classes, and I'm here doing my best, and everyone else needs to. And once everybody realized that that was coming from a place of love, because she come, come, she come blazing, as you saw her today. She always does. Um, and I just think that, that that's, that's what we want people, like, my kids are outstanding. Yeah, they're always singing. We actually have a group that sits in the back of the bus. We call them the Glee Club. Um, they're always singing, always dancing, having a good time. We say we play our best lacrosse when we're just having fun. We also just say, we're just playing a little stick game. Yeah. Little stick game. Um, and um, you don't want to lose the fun in what is what is the sport. So it's very important to our team and our culture. Question again for Jamie. Do you try to have your roommate not to bring up any of the negative things that happened to you this year? Just let them all go and tell them that um, you know, you've had a lot to put up with during the season. Yeah, so, you know, it's funny. Uh, Kenzie had sat for years behind Tatiana Petaway, who's one of the best that we, we've ever had, right? So she put in so much work 
in this off season to prepare. I mean, she literally was paying people to shoot on her in the in the <laughs> in the uh, off season. She's D one players. She'd be like, "Come shoot on me." Um, she really stepped up. We'll see. Maybe she'll be back, Kenzie. This is to you. Um, so we'll see. I I think it's an exciting time, but we're super proud of her and how she just stepped up um, and played like like she had been playing for the last four four years. So um, we're super proud of her. She's unreal. Do you guys want to? Any defenders you can talk to, Kenzie? I mean, I couldn't have asked for somebody to come in and just command respect and command the eight like she does. I mean, if you ever talk to her, she's very soft-spoken, but the moment you put her in that net, she is the loudest person on that field. She's got your back, and I am very grateful that I got to play my fifth year in front of her because it was an experience one, once in a lifetime. So she definitely stepped up this past year, and I know she's going to do great things when she does come back next year. <laughs> <laughs> her and Shannon Dent. <laughs> Um, honestly, it feels like a dream. It feels unreal. Like, like you said, I was a walk on and I had to really, really work to get to where I am right now. Um, I worked very hard off season and came back in very strong. And I think that showed and I just feel very proud of myself and I had my teammates to back me up always. And this year I just felt like I really needed to step up the team as well. Um, we lost some key team players last year, so I just felt like it was right to step up and I'm very proud. I mean, I got to do the things in my personal life, like work, because I knew I had a team that had my back and I had their back, no matter what. There was times when they, they all stepped up when I couldn't because, I mean, I was tired. I tried my best. Caffeine doesn't always do it, you know? <laughs> but um, I had the best defense to work with and the best attack and the be all of everybody on our team made it easy. It, I mean, it, it was easy and I would do it again. I would do it five years in a row if I could because this it was so worth it and I would I wouldn't change anything that I did this year. Well, maybe maybe one thing, but that's <laughs> <laughs> I can't change that. Yeah, so as KP touched on, um, the fall was rough. Um, the fall was really rough. I, you can ask my husband. I would come home and be like, we suck. Um, <laughs> literally, everyone knows it. Um, January 14th, everybody bought in. And we had, again, great guidance from our fifth years come in and demanding that the culture that they built be maintained. And that's huge. Um, I couldn't be more proud of them. Uh, it's been awesome to watch them grow. Um, I always say, like, you know, ESU, on, as long as I'm here, we're going to have a great place to continue to grow personally on and off the field. What we want to see is development of them as young women so that they leave here better people and they leave here better lacrosse players, having the best experience. And I think that that has occurred. And I'm super proud as, as an alum. You know, we talked a lot about that in the days leading up. They have a warrior nation behind them at home. And it's amazing that we, we step on the field and, you know, I was a player, we, di we didn't reach this, you know. It's amazing that we have so much support from our alum, being proud of what's happening, because you, two or 50, you know, you're part of the Warrior Nation, and that shows. And um, 
as we continue to build and regroup and get back out there again, I know that we're going to continue to do the things that we said we want to do. You know, we set out, like I said, with three goals this season. It was the PSAC, a regional, and a national. And we got pretty darn close to doing all three. So I'm extremely proud, and I look forward to continuing to build ESU across. Um, it was such a wild ride, I would say. I loved every minute of it and every minute of the family. I remember last year watching them go to the Final Four, and I was like, wow, like, what an amazing experience. Wouldn't that be nice? And, you know, fast forward, I'm here, and it still hasn't really set in. And, you know, I'm, I'm so happy with the player that I grew into here. They really push you. Um, to do your best and I'm really lucky that I was able to help out and you know just be a team player so it's just it's been amazing it really has can I <clears throat> I just want to um, say a huge thank you to Dr. Greenewalt who is our interim AD um, she's supported us and she's been on this journey we really wanted to send her out on the highest note possible but she's super supportive of us and this program and all of women's athletics and athletics in general um, but it's been awesome to have here uh, in that role for the last few months. Uh, I also just want to thank my staff. Um, Rachel and Amber are the best. Um, Amber will be looking for a job as she just graduated <laughs> with her master's, so somebody hire her. She's so dedicated and goes above and beyond. And um, Rachel is in. She's all in. She's the best assistant I could have ever asked for. And I just want to thank my husband, who has been super supportive um, and helping <laughs> with our child for the last six months nonstop. And I promise one more sleep, and then we get to go home. So. Thank you.